Shalom, shalom. Call hello, you have a shmir Um, this is a part two. Um, my first video I just uploaded as far as in the news and different topics. Um, now I was, I think I said something about somebody had died in the crash and I didn't know who it was. That's what I'll be saying on my last video. I'm, up, I'm uploading it right now, but it just cut off for me. Um, but I'm a, I'm not gonna make this second one too long because I wasn't gonna try to make the uh, video, you know, initially too long anyway. Um, but yeah, let's get back into it. Um, uh, there's an article. Um, oh, it's this one. It's about the same thing. The uh, St. Louis uh, shooting that just happened yesterday. It says the school gunman had AR-15 style weapon. 600 rounds of ammo. You know. Where are you just getting this ammo from, man? You know. And I thought you couldn't be 21. Um, I thought you had to be 21 to even buy a gun unless they changed it or something. You know. But, you know. Either way, it's... it's uh, you have a smear out a shot, man, when these things happen. Um... Hey, you got something that happened at Wisconsin, right? It says four kids, two adults, dead from murder suicide at Wisconsin apartment, right? So, if you don't know what a murder suicide is, it's like it's like where somebody kills, they kill somebody and then they kill themselves. That's what that is. Um, let's read what it says. It says four children and two adults whose bodies were found. At an apartment fire in Wisconsin, died in a murder suicide, according to authorities. All six individuals were shot once. Heartland police announced Monday the adult man, Connor um, McKissick, had a self inflicted gunshot, one pol police said. So, you, you know, like I said, you know, that's what that is. And that's the Lord putting the spirits on these people, man, you know, to do stuff like that. Right? Um, let's get that in. Uh, Let's get this and um You know, you got a lot of stuff like that going on, man. Uh just just a lot of weird stuff going on. Perverse spirits. Right? I think it's in the book of Isaiah. Perverse Isaiah, I'm going to get the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, and um, verse 12, verse uh, 14, Salaki. It says, The Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh have mingled, right, a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every works. Egypt is modern day America. It says, And it is a drunken man, stuck after his vomit. People don't. People don't know their right hand from their left, their left hand from their right. You know, people don't know. People are depressed, man. You know, it's it's more than it's more than one statistic show. Cause usually when stuff like that happens, you know, it's something going to inter going on internally with that person, like in their life. Like he might have couldn't he whoever that dad. I think it was their dad or whatever. He probably couldn't see his kids or. I don't know. I don't know what the situation was or what the motive was, but either way, it's the Lord to put the spirit on that man to do that, man. And um, you know, the Lord says in the book of Job, chapter four, verse seven, right? He says this. It says, "Remember, I prayed thee, whoever perished, being innocent, right? So, whoever died, not deserving of the death, right?" Everybody on this earth, no matter what nation you come from, whether you Israelite, whether you heathen, you died, hey, you you deserve to die. You know, it doesn't matter how you died or even how long you live to your death, you know, it doesn't matter. You deserve to you deserve to die. You know? It says a war with a righteous cut off. See, you know, if you righteous, hey, you know, there's a, there's gonna be some righteous Israelites, you know, that's a part of the elect and they ain't even gonna taste death. Right? But for the most part, I mean, this body is subject to sin, so you know, you know, if that, if that, if something like it, like you do die, you deserve to die, you know. It doesn't matter if you're Israelite or a heathen, 
You know, nobody perishes innocent. Nobody, even babies. Everybody has been here before. Like when the baby is born, right? They have they have been here before. That's why they crying. You know, they, they spirit. You know, is put within them by Yahweh Shmuel Shai, and everybody's spirit comes comes from you know the spiritual realm, where Yahweh Shmuel Shai the wills. So, you know, um, when babies die, all right, it's, it's judgment from what they did on their past life. You know, because it said children died. Um, let me get that scripture concerning this. Um, that this man sin or parents, because there's a there's a it's, there's a um situation that happened during the time of Yahweh Shaul Lord, um, where a man was born blind, and I'm gonna go into it, right? And people were asking why he was born like that, you know, which there could be when people have. They call them birth defects, you know, or people come out, you know, not all the way right mentally, or they you go you got so-called retarded people or mentally ill people. The Lord has them like that, man. You know, and um there's a reason they like that, you know. There's a reason. Um is that John chapter nine? Um I'm going to read it. Verse 1, it says, As Yahweh Shai passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth, so he couldn't see. It says, And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? So, so they already knew when somebody is jacked up physically or they have a birth defect, like I said, you know, a lot of times when somebody has something like that happen to them, they're missing the body part or they, they don't have, you know, one of their functions working right, right? You have a broken arm or something. That's that's because you sinned against the Lord, man. The Lord jacked you up, right? And for him to be born like that, if he, if you know, this, if you, if every spirit that came here that was born on the earth was that was their first time here, why was they born like that? Why did they even say uh, who did sin? What, what does that have to do with if if uh, you were just born here the first time? Like every person that's born here on the earth every day since the beginning of the time, that was their first time here. The Lord created a new spirit, right? A brand new spirit. That doesn't make sense. It says this man, I didn't say this man, it exactly says, or his parents that he was born blind. Right? So why did they say those things? They said, they said, who did sin? This man, they said him, himself. How okay. And how do okay, according to you Christians, um, <clears throat> you can't sin if you were just born, right? You never did anything. So why did they even say that he sinned if he was just born? Or not, he wasn't just born so lucky. I said it the wrong way. Uh you know, why was uh why was he born blind, right? Like I said, if he was a new, a brand new spirit created, why was he born like it? Because he was like that from his birth, right? He could he didn't do anything before that. He was righteous, right? According to what Christians say, why would they even say something like that? There's a reason why, because there's something that the scriptures call reincarnation or regeneration that is biblical. It says, or his parents. So your parents could have did something a in that judgment. And the Lord could jack up you, you know, your child, if you do something, right? He was born blind, it says, Yahweh shall answer, neither hath his, this man sin nor his parents, but that the works of Yahweh should be made manifest in him. So, in this case, it wasn't none of those, but those can be the reasons why somebody is the way they are when they're born, or why they have birth defects, is because, you know, they sinned in a past life. They was here before, Right? That's not a myth or a fable. You know, you got a lot of a, a lot of Israelites. They can't understand the um. They can't understand reincarnation. They don't understand it. Doesn't click with them, right? That's because you don't have the spirit on you, man. You know, you you still in Christianity. Oh man, every everybody that's born is a, a brand new spirit. You know, which that's not the case. <clears throat> you know, and I read the very first scripture I read. You know, or uh, the first video was. Every day, you know, the Lord brings judgment to light and he does no iniquity. So the Lord is righteous on everything he does. Where he kills somebody, no matter how old he is, you know, when it is, how old he was, how young he was, it doesn't matter. The Lord created all spirits. You know, he created everything for his sake. You know? So you can't be questioning the Lord and, and uh not disagree disagreeing with the Lord, because you're not the Lord. You we're we're just men. I mean, you know, we're just we're just men, we're just humans, you know. But we're we're Israelites, you know, we, there is a chosen people, us, so called blacks, so called Hispanics and Native Americans. But you know, like I said, 
Um, that's that was the case in that situation is that the Lord was trying to show his power. You know, he didn't sin, but in some cases you you could have sinned. That's why you like that. You sinned in your past life. You were served before, right? What is the other explanation for why babies stuff happens to it? Baby, people do all types of stuff to babies, man. And the Lord put the spirit on that person to do whatever he did to that baby or she did to, to, to that baby. Babies get hit by a straight bullet. You know, they, as soon as they're born, they die. They, You know, whatever it is. You, a baby drowned in the pool or something. They ate something. They choked on it and they died. You know, it's it's judgment. You know, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, um, you know, uh, brand new when they come on the earth, man. It, it don't work like that. You know? Um, what else? Because I'll probably end this video off. It's already been two minutes. You know, and you got two two juveniles, underage, you know, uh, young men that, hey, that carjacked somebody at gunpoint outside of church. You know, man, hey, the, the Lord's in control of everything. Let's get that. Then I, I'll probably close up. All right, so like I said, I don't want this lesson to be too long. This is Amos, Amos chapter 3 and uh, verse 6. It says... It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall, the, shall there be any evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? So, it or you know, no. You know, when the Lord, when when the stuff happens in, in the city, evil happens. People get shot up. Somebody got robbed. Somebody got stabbed. Somebody uh, died in the fire. Somebody got ran over. You know, they got attacked by a wild beast. Whatever it is, man, you know. Uh, a weight fell on you, you died. A building collapsed on you, you got struck by lightning, you died. You got in a car wreck. It doesn't matter, man. It says, Shall there be any evil in this city and the Lord have not done it? That's the question. The Lord did do it. So there's not going to be any evil. There's, there's not going to not be no evil the Lord have not done it. It don't work like it. The Lord did do it. You know, because the Lord controls good and evil. All right, let's get that in the book of uh, Isaiah 45, because he creates peace. Right, when you have evil happening upon you, not you're not in the peaceful state of mind, you know. It says, um, Marie verse seven says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I the Lord do all these things. So that's why the scriptures say, if there's even evil happening in the city, where whatever it is, wherever it is in the city where you live at, the Lord Yahweh Shai did it. And that's that. And it's judgment. It doesn't matter how young you are, it don't matter how old you are. You know, the Lord did it, man. And respect more evils. More pestilences, you know, expect for all hell to break loose. The MOTB to be um implemented soon. And you still got that um that purge thing supposed to be happening on January first in uh Chicago. You got brothers out there, you know. The Lord got their brothers, you know, if they part of the elect. You know, um you know there's a lot of stuff going on, you know, in the world, man. And uh you and this truth, you know, just hey, keep enduring, man, you know, keep praying, keep fasting, you know, keep paying attention. You know, um, keep breathing, you know, um, and, and being occupied in prophecy, right? And I'm going to leave off with this and uh, I think it's First Timothy chapter 4, right? Because that's the scripture that popped up in my head before I did this lesson. Um, this is First Timothy chapter 4 and verse uh, 13. It says, till I come to who comes, Jehovah Shai, give attendance, right? Be, be available to... Make time to read every day. It's a reading an exhortation, right? To getting corrected, to, you know, being with the brotherhood, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is within thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying of the hands of the presbytery, which are the elders. It says, and meditate upon these things and give thyself wholly to them that thy property may appear unto all and take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine and continue in them. And for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So we got to keep doing this, man, to you how a shot come, man. We can't take breaks. We can't stop. You know, of course, you ain't reading 24-7 or praying 24-7 or press 24-7. You know, brothers got hobbies. You know, brothers got pastimes or downtimes. You know, brothers got, you know, regular lives. You know, we go to work, so we obviously can't do certain things while we working. But, you know, this is our main focus, our main objective, our main mission. Right, we can't get off the we can't get off the um track, you know, to go to our mission, to go to our destination, which is to ultimately, you know, get to the kingdom. But you know, you got to be predestinated. You got to be part of the elect. 
So our Lord willing, this video was edifying. I'm going to close out. I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash, Da Ba'ana, Sa'el, this guy Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel and to the speckled bird Israelites that are scattered abroad. Shalom to the elect. Wa Ba'ba Ba'ba.